In this video, we are going to discuss skewness and kurtosis, and skewness will actually depict the symmetry in a distribution, and we are starting with the skewness at first. Skewness is a measure of symmetry in a distribution. If one tail is longer than other, then we shall say that the distribution is skewed. If you consider the income of the country or say population of country, then you can get a skewed distribution. Different ways to measure a skew. One is the Pearson mode, Bowley, Kelly's measure, and Momental. Which technique you would use depend on what you know about your data. That means what are the parameters you are having on your set of data that will decide that which technique you are going to add up. So, as example, if you know the mean and mode or mean or median in this way, mean is common either you will be getting mode or median and standard division you can use the Pearson's mode and momental skewness would be an option if you know only the mean and the standard division of your set of data. So, that will decide that which calculation or which technique will be applicable to get the skewness of one distribution. So, we are having this example as the left skewed or negative skewedness. So, you can find that here we are having this mean, the mode will have the ma frequency maximum that is why it will, it will be the mode and here we will be having the median, it is known as left skewed or negative skewness. In case of right skewed or positive skewness, we are having this mode with the highest frequency, then median and then mean will be coming on the right hand side. So, as a symmetrical distribution has a skew of value 0. When the distribution is symmetric, that means at the same class we are having the mean, median and mode, then you can say that the skewness will have the value, the skew will have the value 0. A positive result means that your data is positively skewed and negative results means that your data is negatively skewed. So, here we have demonstrated what is the meaning of the positive skewed and negative skewed. Now, here we are going for the respective kurtosis. The kurtosis is actually it measures the sharpness of peak of our distribution. The degree of flatness or peakness is measured by the kurtosis. It tells us about the extent to which the distribution is flat or peak vis a vis the normal curve. So, now you can have the you can here we can have the three different types of kurtosis measures. One is the platycortic, mesocortic and leptocortic. The normal curve is called the mesocortic curve that means this one this is a normal curve and if the curve of a distribution is more picked than the normal or mesocortic curve then it is referred to as the leptocortic. So, if the sharpness is very high in that case it will be known as the leptocortic. If a curve is less picked than a normal curve then it is called a platycortic curve. So, there is a platycortic you can get this one. So, there is a platycortic, there is a mesocortic and the upper one is a leptocortic. So, if a curve is less picked than a normal curve, it is called as a platycortic curve. So, now how to calculate the respective kurtosis here? So, that is mu 4 into mu 2, where mu 2 is equal to having this expression and mu 4 is having this expression where x bar is denoting the mean of the set of data. So, in this way we have discussed in this video what is kurtosis and what is skewness. So, skewness and kurtosis we have defined that one in this particular video with some demonstration and examples. Thanks for watching this video.